Did you watch any of the shameful theatrics and crocodile tears at Pelosi's partisan January 6th hearing in the building right behind us? Well, I hope you had some Tums handy because that was just sickening. Officer Dunn called words weapons. Do you know why? Because there weren't any actual weapons other than the ones the police had. And do you know why they weren't any we actual weapons? Because it wasn't an insurrection. Compare Dunn's hurt feelings to the hundreds of police officers severely injured in the George Floyd riots. Who's shedding tears for officers like David Dorn, David Patrick Underwood, and Damon Gutzwiller, who are American heroes who were killed by the leftist riots protecting others? Why is there one standard of justice for the right and another for the left? I was at the MAGA rally on January 6th, just not too far from here, and I saw the kind of people that were there. Kind, good people, grandmas in wheelchairs, little children in strollers, American patriots who love this country and are being maligned over their actions of a few individuals. This week I'm in Washington DC where I've actively advocated for many of the wrongfully held prisoners. I am also working on a documentary where I will share more about my January 6th experiences in support those who have been imprisoned for months now over simple charges like trespassing and parading with an American flag. I'm Jared Sessler and I'm running for Congress in Washington's 4th District against Dan Newhouse, who voted for impeachment of President Trump. He also voted for the sham January 6th Commission. If you're tired of the lies and the attacks on our freedom, join me in my campaign as we fight for American values and liberty. Go to jaredforcongress.com and join the movement. I'm Jared Sessler and I approve this message. American values do not align with leftists because they hate America. We must engage by giving our dollars and our talents to defend our great American values. Visit jaredsessler.com to donate and get involved. Say yes to America.